back to my channel. My name's Asha and today I'm going to do a video all about two different products that are really, really popular. They are both liquid lipsticks and um, I thought I would do like a review slash comparison video on these products and see how they both last throughout the day. So I have got the Kylie Lip Kit. This color is Court K, so it's a really dark, beautiful, purple kind of tone. This is the first Kylie lip kit I've ever bought. Um, I happened to go on her website to see how much her metallic lipsticks were going to be. Um, they weren't on there, but the website happened to be running and nothing was out of stock. Like I must have got onto the website at perfect timing. I am telling you, I did not go onto this website on purpose to hit it exactly the right time. I just happened to go on it in perfect timing. I cannot believe that happened to me. I freaked out. So I was like, oh my gosh, I had no money at this time of the week, but I still dug out some money to purchase this. It came to about 65 New Zealand dollars for one, including shipping. I bought Court K, which I was very, very excited about. Um, and this is like a dark, rich, Purple. So today I'm going to wear the Kylie Lip Kit and tomorrow I'm going to wear Jeffree Stars. So let's see how this applies. On the back it says just to use the lip liner around the line of the lip and then fill in the um, lips with the liquid lipstick. Now I have seen on Kylie's Snapchat to only apply a one thin layer of this and that's all you're going to need. So hopefully that works. I might need to apply a second layer because of the pigmentation. I have no idea. Let's find out. Really smooth. I'm going to use my finger and just blend the edges. Okay, so that's the lip liner done. Now I'm going to use the um, applicator. So the applicator is quite little, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go straight in. I'm not going to wipe any of that off. It's really pretty. The sweep of that was quite easy, and these smell really good. I did a swatch and tried to wipe it off with the tissue, and it stained my hand. So it does show that it stains. So the lipstick is dry. It feels dry. Like, you can feel the dryness. You definitely, um, they, your lips feel tighter. When you press your lips together, there is no sticky sensation whatsoever. In fact, it's completely dry. If I was to kiss the back of my hand, nothing came off. I almost want to lick them, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to let you guys know the time. The time is 2.09. I'm going to keep this on and um, throughout the day and I'll keep you guys updated with how it's going. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Right now it feels comfortable. Um, it definitely feels matte and dry, but I guess all liquid lipsticks feel that way. I'm going to wear this as long as I can. I'm hanging out with a friend in an hour, and then I'm hanging out with another friend after that at about seven o'clock. So if it looks bad before seven o'clock, I will take it off. But if it doesn't, I will keep wearing it throughout the night with her. And when I get back, I'll let you know how it worked. Hey guys, so it is now 6.08. Can you read that? I hope you can read that, otherwise you have to believe me. So it's 6.08, which means it's been four hours, and um, it still looks really nice. Um, I will say that it's just a little bit worn in here, um, and my lips do feel a little bit dry, like I almost want to just lick them and scrub them, do you know what I mean? Like I want to put like lip balm on them. Anyway, I'm about to eat some yummy Malaysian food, so I thought I would show you guys how it looks now, and then we'll kind of see how it goes. In the past four hours I have eaten noodles and I have eaten, I've had a hot chocolate. I still think it looks good so I'm gonna get in nice and close and show you guys. So you can see it's quite worn in the middle but the edges still look really good and yeah I'm still happy. Hey guys so it is now 9.04 so it's pretty much been seven hours and um, 
yeah, it's definitely worn off around here. I've just eaten some roti tonight as well, so that was a little bit like slurpy, I guess you'd say, but not really. Like I was really trying my best not to rub the lipstick. But I've been chatting away with my girlfriend for like the past two hours after that as well. So we've just been chilling and then I thought, well, it's been a while now and I really want to take this off because it's feeling uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm just letting you know that it's definitely dry, like it definitely feels dry. Um, it has lasted a long amount of time, but if I were you, I would definitely keep it in my handbag just to top up this area if you know you're going to eat or drink. Um, just because it's like, I mean, who wants that, you know, to be like obvious? And it still feels dry on my lips. Like when I lick my lips, I feel like it's dried my skin out a little bit. So that's one thing I do have to say, but I'm going to come in close to the camera now and show you guys how it looks. So it is pretty worn. I'm not sure if you guys can see how cracked my lips are. So yeah, they're pretty cracked, but that's all right. So that is after almost exactly seven hours. So now you guys will see me tomorrow. Hey everyone, so it is the next day and I am going to wear a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. So I've got Unicorn Blood right here, which is a, just a darker pigmented color with a bit of readiness in it. I do, by the way, have nine of these. So if you want me to do a swatch video, let me know. I can do that for you. Um, so I'm going to pop this on and, oh, I'll tell you guys the time. I've got my boyfriend's phone here because um, my phone is dead. So there you go, it is the, it's 2.24 on the 2nd of May. So it's a little bit later than when I started yesterday, but I'll definitely do it for the exact same amount of time so that we really get a good idea. There might be a little variance because Game of Thrones is on tonight, so I might go over time, just letting you know. I'll try my best to get it at the perfect time, but yeah, Game of Thrones comes first. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna put this on. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So beautiful. Awesome, so I popped that one on. I definitely overdrew the top lip a little bit more than I did yesterday, but I don't think that's gonna affect things. I'm pretty sure the majority of the wear is gonna be in the inside. Um, the dough applicator on this is really flexy, and it's fluffier and just easier to use, in my opinion. It definitely doesn't dry as quickly and it doesn't feel as drying on the lips. It feels more comfortable to me. Another pro I like about this product is there's definitely more in it compared to the Kylie Lip Kit and it's obviously more affordable. This is $18 whereas the lip kit is $29 but the lip kit also does come with a lip liner so you can kind of like judge it that way and see what you would rather. I have never tried out the lip kit, the Kylie lip kit without the lip liner. I will let you guys know in the comments below um, when I do that to see if it needs the lip liner to stop it from bleeding or if the lip liner is just kind of like a bonus product in there as well. So it feels a little bit more comfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with my day. It is now two, it's now 2.28 and um, yeah, I'm going to see how we go. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi guys. So it is now 6.12. Hold on, let me show you. It is 6.12. Sorry about the clicking in the background, guys. Carl's doing his homework. I'm really, really impressed. I have eaten like chips with sauce and like coleslaw, and um, I honestly was trying my best to not ruin my makeup, but I was doing exactly the same thing yesterday, and honestly, it looks really good. Like you'll see in a moment. Um, there is only a tiny bit of wear in the center and it's not even that noticeable and it's now almost four hours later so the results that um, I've got right now are really really impressive I am gonna have some dinner um, quite soon which is um, yeah going to be uh, stir fries so it'll be kind of saucy I think so yeah we'll give it a, the, the ultimate test again so it feels good on my lips right now it doesn't feel irritating I actually forget that I'm wearing it which is awesome um, and yeah, I'm just enjoying wearing it today. So 
So I'll zoom in and show you guys. You can see how well it's lasted. I am back, it is exactly 9.30. And my lipstick still looks amazing. I have eaten um, ice cream as well as dinner, so I am very impressed. Like for it to only really be kind of gone in here, to me is amazing. I mean, I would still be okay with going out with my lips like this. Also, my lips still feel very comfortable. I just wanna show you guys a close up so you see what I'm talking about. So it's now 9.30. It hardly looks different to what it looked like three hours ago, but um, yeah, I'm super, super happy with my lips right now. So I've been wearing this for around seven hours and I am totally happy. At this time last night, I wanted to take off my lipstick, like I was actually getting annoyed with it. I was just wanting to take it off. Whereas right now, I'm happy. I could chill for another three hours and I think I'd be okay. So yeah, I definitely rate this one higher. The quality of it, I just think is just more longer wearing and more comfortable on my lips. Anyway, I am really, really happy um, and yeah, definitely exceeded my expectations. Hopefully this was informative for you. I'm definitely glad I did this just for myself, you know, to see if what I like better and what works better for me. So I'm definitely happy. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.